Arjuna to unmanliness. Of course, here he's awakening the warrior within him. It ill befits you. Cast off this weakness of heart, O scorcher of foes, arise. Now, Arjuna represents your third chakra, which is the element of fire. In fact, this is what Yogananda calls Arjuna, fiery self-control. Now, this is the willpower that it takes. Now, after us, in the beginning, it takes a lot of will for the devotee to even get here because he has to draw his energy from his lower two chakras of attachment, of self-preservation, of complete self-involvement, bring it to the third chakra. But now Krishna is saying, cast off this weakness of heart because energy while it's here, scorcher of foes, he calls him, he who burns his foes, the fire that is within us. But we have to now awaken the energy of the heart because this fire has to be lifted up. Scorcher of foes, arise, Krishna says. Lift up this energy. Involve the feelings of your heart. Awaken, essentially, deep devotion in this moment. Doubt can only be banished through devotion. It cannot be banished through the mind because you can see Arjuna his mind is very sharp. He's using all the right concepts. And this is where people have always had a little bit of an issue with the Gita. Oh, Arjuna wants uh, peace. And Krishna says, no, fight these people. And this is where you have to understand, Krishna is not really even talking about this outward battle. There are layers of the outward activity where anyway, most of us don't want to put out a lot of willpower. We are constantly looking for excuses to lower our energy, to skate through circumstances. And on one level, on the most, you can say, superficial level, Krishna is just saying, Arjuna, act, fight, lift up the energy, take on these issues, face your circumstances, face your karmas, just on a physical level, on the outward level. On another level, here we're talking about righteous actions because Arjuna, we have to remember, he's a warrior. He's not somebody Krishna has just picked up from the street and now has said, no, I want you to kill all these people. There's a certain dharma Arjuna has taken on in this lifetime and this dharma has to be fulfilled. And it's not about killing people or not killing people. It is about duty and responsibility. What is Arjuna's responsibility in this particular case? Should I just let um, the entire kingdom go into chaos, be served by a very, very malicious king? Or is my duty to the subjects, to the people to whom I have given this solemn vow to protect and to uphold dharma for? Now for you, who are those people who are under your protection, under your responsibility? And I don't mean just family. I'm talking about in your team, at work, um, as an employee, as an employer, as a father, as a husband, as a mother, as a son. What duties are you trying to avoid? What are you trying to skate away from? Here another interesting question comes to mind. Say, for example, somebody is extremely mean to us, very, very harsh, is putting us down all the time. We have two ways we can respond to them. One is we stand up for ourselves, you know, in this particular case, the fight. And the other is that we let go. And in this case, this is Arjuna's choice. Let's just have peace. I don't want to fight this guy. Now, the question is, what is the appropriate response? The answer is, it totally depends on you as the individual. Because many of us, if I have a tendency always to just say, I, don't, I want to avoid conflict and you know, I just want to skate away from this thing. It is very important for me to be able to learn how to raise my energy and stand up for myself. If I have a tendency to constantly react and fight and get upset, then I need to learn how to let go of things and learn how to arrive to that peaceful solution within myself. So there is no clear answer here. There is only what is your responsibility and what is your duty which will lift your state of consciousness from where it is to its next step. And that's the question we have to ask ourselves in every decision that seems to us a little, you know, I don't know what's the right thing here to do. 
and I, in my own mind, can create justifications. If I'm naturally prone to anger, I can easily say, well, it was very important for me to stand up for myself because, you know, it's, it helps that guy. He can't just be walking over people. In fact, I taught him a good lesson, so now he won't do it to other people. I can justify it and make it sound spiritual. And if I have a tendency as it is to, you know, not want to put any energy out, I can justify how important peace is. So this is Arjuna justifying why he does not want to really take on this process. Why he doesn't want to continue with this battle because, well, it's just too much and it's going to hurt. So Krishna is saying to him, cast off the weakness of your heart, O scorcher of foes, and arise. Whatever you do, it needs to lift your energy up. It needs to take you to your next step. 